was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama and her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. When with a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, they coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, and on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each tiny hoof. As I drew in my head and I was turning away, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothing were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, however, they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were, all up, were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was all white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and in the smoke it circled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and had a little round, round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right old jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but straight up the work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger a side of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang on the sleigh, he gave his team a whistle, and they away all the flu they went. Like the doll of a thistle, but I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.